So all summer long, we've been taking you on a tour of Canada for our country's 150th birthday. We've been focusing on some of the places most people may not know about or that few people get to see. I recently had the chance to visit Halifax and get a tour. This was so cool, by, by the way. HMCS Montreal with Lieutenant Amory Day. Take a look. Talk to me a little bit about where we are right now. So we're on the bridge of the ship. Uh, this is where we drive from. So the captain would sit over there and the executive officer can sit here. Uh, the officer of the watch is the third in command at that time and they run the whole show. So no evolution happens without the officer of the watch's approval and permission. How many people are on this ship? There are about 217. How do you replenish out at sea? We will go alongside a tanker and pass a giant gas hose over and we'll hook up and, and fuel and get groceries at the same time. Really? Very cool. Which if you can imagine two ships in the seas, it can be a little bit... Uh, Hairy. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Yeah. Yeah, watch your, watch your step. So what's down here? So ahead of us is the operations room. It's where all of the warfare happens on board. Um, we can't go in there, but, right. <laughs> and then down this way? Uh, back this way is where we have the wardroom, which is the officer's mess. Um, so on board, there's three separate areas for dining and also just our sort of living room right. on board and where we where hang, out. hang out. So this is the wardroom. It's where the officers eat, hang out. We have meetings in here as well quite often. Um, so it's our living room on board. and. Right now it's soup time at 10. So you have soup every day at 10 o'clock? Every day at 10 o'clock. I love that. It's great. Yeah. And it changes every day, and Friday is always chowder. <laughs> Was your favorite? Chowder's great. Chowder yeah. is good. So this, this is. is a typical officer cabin on board. There would be two people in here, so these would just fold down into beds or racks during the nighttime or whenever we're able to sleep and then we can just fold them back up to have more space. And then a couple workstations for us to get everything done. So this is our bedroom and our office, and it's all in one spot. My, my reaction coming onto the ship for the first time was like a kid in a candy store, just like, wow, this is unbelievable. Do you remember the first moment that you set foot on a ship? I do. It was HMCS Iroquois. When I was a sub-lieutenant, I had finished my training out west, and it was my first ship that I was being posted to. And it is overwhelming at first. Um, everybody else knows where to go, knows where everything is, and you're just hoping to follow someone along. Yeah, because like, walking through here, it's like a maze. It is. And we have to know the ship in and out, what's above, below, port starboard. So if there's any emergency, we know which way to get moving. So where are you taking us now? Uh, we'll go down and take a look at the galley. What time's lunch? Lunch is at noon. And Fridays are always fish and chips. What's that? The end of break. End so of break. everybody's back to work now. We're fitted for a CH-148 Cyclone helicopter, which we've just recently completed trials on. So these are just the tracks. The helicopter will move in and out of the hangar on uh, with what's what we call a bear trap. It's a Canadian invention. So the helicopter will actually come in, lower a wire, and then we essentially pull the helicopter out of the sky. Really? We do. That's pretty cool. It's very cool. But again, if you consider that the ship is rolling and the helicopter is moving, we need to be able to get it landed on the deck safely. This is my gun. This is your gun? <laughs> It's mean? my job to fire it. Really? I fire the gun, I fire the missiles. Okay, so what's that like? It's In great. Of, what's this? That's just gun art. What's that like getting the call saying, okay, it's go time? I mean, it's what we trained for. So I was looking forward to the experience and it was great to go in and be able to see that side of the operation. Yeah, talk to me about the difference between, you know, being a couple in the Navy versus uh, a civilian couple. Well, I think that you sort of take time together for granted when you're a civilian couple and you're together all the time. 
And when we've been fortunate enough with our kids to take paternity leave, we sort of plan a whole bunch of great family activities in that time to make the most of it. And then when one of us is away, that's just a reality and we'll email or, you know, Facebook. Stay in contact as much as we can. That really was an amazing experience. To see more of our Canada 150 coverage, you can visit our website anytime, yourmorning.ca.